Representative Hakeem Jeffries, minority leader, Democratic minority leader in Congress. I think this is going to be a very good spokesperson for the party altogether. I mean, I think the guy is more articulate in the way he presents than Obama and Nancy Pelosi. I mean, learning how to run Congress from Nancy Pelosi, having the oratory skills that he has, being able to put the words as he does, I think it's going to be a good thing as he frames Republicans for who they are in Congress and as he is allowed to frame the Democratic message, not only from a little bit left of center, but for progressives as well. Listen to the context of what he's saying. And it is immediately evident. It encompasses the whole wave of where the Democratic Party and progressives lie. Check this out. We'll take it on the other side. Thank the distinguished uh, gentleman from New York for yielding all of my colleagues uh, for their continued leadership on this incredibly important issue. The 118th Congress has begun, and the differences between our side of the aisle and the other side of the aisle couldn't be any clearer. Now, let me, of course, reiterate that as Democrats, we look forward to trying to find common ground whenever and wherever possible to solve issues of consequence on behalf of the American people. But we will oppose extremism whenever it rears its ugly head. Democrats have made clear, we are going to continue to work on issues like lower costs, better paying jobs, safer communities, defend democracy, protect the public interests, ensure economic opportunity in every single zip code, and yes, fight for reproductive freedom. My Republican colleagues, you promised to come to Washington to fight for the American people, but have spent a lot of time fighting each other on politics, power, and personality, not working on issues related to the public interest. That's what the last few days have indicated, an extreme MAGA Republican agenda. Now that you are getting into substance, on Monday, you pass a bill designed to allow the wealthy, the well-off, and the well-connected to cheat on their taxes, subsidize the lifestyles of the rich and shameless, benefit millionaires and billionaires, not working class families, not middle class families, not low income families, not veterans, not everyday Americans, the wealthy, the well-off, and the well-connected. That was on Monday. Then on Tuesday, you come to the floor and you pass a select committee on insurrection protection, a committee that is clearly designed in the words of some of my colleagues on the other side of the aisle, to obstruct justice as part of your evident desire, as many of you have said, to eventually defund the FBI. That was Tuesday. And now on Wednesday, you come to the floor. Nothing on inflation, nothing on quality of life issues for the American people, nothing even on public safety. But you come to the floor as part of your march to criminalize abortion care, to impose a nationwide ban, to set into motion government-mandated pregnancies. So that's the distinction for today. As Democrats, we believe in a woman's freedom to make her own reproductive health care decisions, period, full stop. A decision that should be between a woman, her family, and her doctors. Period. Full stop. We believe in Roe v. Wade. You wonder about our position? That's it. The Women's Health Protection Act. That's it. Freedom to make your own reproductive health care decisions. That's it. As compared to a clear effort. That's what this bill is about today, a march toward criminalizing abortion care, a nationwide ban, government-mandated 
pregnancies. Part of an extreme MAGA Republican agenda. And so, yes, we continue to extend our hand of partnership if you truly want to work on quality of life issues. But we haven't seen it. We haven't seen it on Monday. We haven't seen it on Tuesday. And we're not seeing it today. So we oppose this bill. We oppose an extreme MAGA Republican agenda. And let's get back to the business of the American people. I yield back. Minority leader is recognized for one minute. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I thank the distinguished uh, gentleman from New York. This is what I'm talking about. That is how you stamp Republicans for who they are and prepare yourself to govern later, because that's what it's going to take. We're going to have two years of failed legislation, but thereafter, I think uh, there's a good chance Democrats and progressives come back with a vengeance. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.